One day, I'm, I'm going to tell you this now. One day we got in the car. And this is what I tell people on this podcast. This is like two guys getting in a car, mm. making a trip. This is the same way we would talk on the trip, just back and forth. It's just me and you. You got in the car with me one day. What did I said, do? <laughs> no, you just got in the car and you said, you didn't say nothing. And, and you looked like you were worried about something or bothered about something. I says, you okay? You went, yeah. I said, no, some, you may not remember this, but you said, I hope I heard a knock at my door today. And I opened the door and it was Terry Taylor. Oh yeah. I remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> and he punched me right in my mouth. I said, yeah. what? Yeah. What about? and then he turned and walked off. Yeah. What was that about? You no, told me. I forgot. I'm going to tell you just to make it all juicy. You know, I, I, you know, I, <laughs> I didn't always made great moves. You know, Terry Taylor up to this day, you know, I love him so much. And, you know, I think he has the greatest respect for me. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But at the time, he had this good looking girl that was working at a mall. Not too far. But Terry Taylor had a good looking girl in every town. You know, he was a handsome man. He was like every all the girls were after him. And, and this girl, you know, she she really caught my attention. Like, you know, she she was right next to where I was staying. So I was going to shop every day. And finally I went up to her. <laughs> I went up to her and, and, uh, and my and my 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 uh, my hormones took over. And I, yeah. uh, I told her that she'd be a lot better off with me than she'd be with Terry Taylor because, you know, because because Terry Taylor is not someone who wants to get attached to anybody, you know. But for me, you're like the girl of my dream. And so so she went to repeat that to him. And so when he knocked on my door and opened the door, he kind of jumped on me and punched me. And then and I remember when him grabbing, I grabbed him too. And I said, I'm not going to fight you, Terry. I'm not going to fight you. And he was on top of me. He just he wanted to. And then he just got back up and he left. And then and, 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 and so. So actually, he just uh, gave me a receipt, which I deserved, because you can't do that. You can't go talk to another girl and talk bad about a guy. I just, it was a mistake I made, but I was like 20 years old, 21 years old. Who doesn't make mistakes? So, so okay. here's the, when he so knocked here, on the door, did you know what he was knocking on the door for? No, I didn't know who it was or nothing. I just opened the door and I got but a when punch. you opened the door and you saw him, <laughs> <it was him. laughs> and I got a punch, and that was like that. And then, the, and that was it. Then we start scrubbing in the, and that didn't last two seconds. And then, then I said, I'm not going to fight you, Terry. And I said, and, and then he told me why. Then he says, you know, you talked to her. You had no business talking. I said, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. And that was it. And that was the end of the story. And it's so funny because you know you live and learn in life. You know nobody's perfect, and I made a mistake. And I, but that helped me through the rest of my career. So that's a good thing. Now the other thing that I got to tell you that's really that I that why I like Terry Taylor so much is after the incident I had with the British Bulldogs, with the, with the bullying they were doing, and finally that I stood up for myself. And I was uh, was at a time where they were really heavy on on ribs and, and things. They were they were doing a lot of damage to a lot of wrestlers, the Bulldogs, and. And, and when I stood up and, and I finally did what I had to do, uh, all the boys were kayfabing me. Nobody was coming to talk to me because they knew the Bulldogs would do a comeback and come and beat me up after or kill me because after I had his four teeth leave his face. And then so 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 then he uh, – but Terry Taylor was the first guy that came to see me when I was walking when nobody was speaking to me for about a week. <laughs> no, and then, then Terry Taylor came behind me and he slapped me on my butt. And then he told me, he came up to me and he says, you know what, John? He says, you did what a lot of guys wanted to do. And he says, I certainly wouldn't have done it, <laughs> you know. And then, and, and so he had, I know he has a lot of respect for me. You know, I know I gained his respect back. And that's a good thing because, you know, I had lost it at the time when I was 20 years old. And mm -hmm. I gained it back when I was, you know, whatever, 35 or 40. Have you, have you written a book? No. You need to write a book, man. These stories are great. That's what yeah. people want to hear. They want to hear the stories. That's the basis for this podcast is stories. You know, people don't really want to hear, well, I won the title here, and then I went there. and I just, They don't give a shit about that. They want to hear what happened on exit 66 down there in Mississippi somewhere <laughs> when you got in a fight or you got drunk or you got arrested. <laughs> That's what they really want to hear.